Hey there, car lovers. Welcome back to Mechanical Special, where we break down car issues and solutions to keep your ride running smooth. In this video, we will properly discuss the throttle position sensor. If you're noticing weird acceleration or your car is just not running the way it should, there is possibility that your throttle sensor is faulty. We're diving into the symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor and some simple DIY fixes you can try at home. Let's get started. The main function of the throttle position sensor is to monitor the position of the throttle valve and sends this information to the engine control unit. Based on the position of the throttle, the ECU makes decisions about fuel injection, ignition timing, and other critical engine parameters. The throttle position sensor is located directly on the throttle body near the throttle plate. It is usually positioned on the side or the top of the throttle body. Now let's discuss the common symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor. 1. Unstable or erratic idling. Unstable idle is one of the most common symptoms of a bad TPS. When the throttle sensor becomes faulty, it may send erratic or incorrect signals, causing the ECU to improperly adjust the idle speed. This results in fluctuations in RPMs, causing the engine to idle too high or too low. 2. Stalling at idle. The throttle position sensor helps maintain the correct air-fuel ratio for the engine. A bad throttle position sensor can lead to unexpected stalling, especially when the vehicle is idling or coming to a stop. This happens because the sensor might fail to properly regulate the air and fuel mixture. 3. Lack of power or hesitation. You might notice a lack of power or hesitation when accelerating. This occurs because the throttle sensor fails to accurately communicate the throttle position, preventing the engine from adjusting the air-fuel mixture effectively. 4. Surging or bucking. During acceleration, when the TPS sends inconsistent signals, the ECU may receive erratic throttle position data. As a result, it constantly adjusts fuel delivery in response to these false signals, which leads to surging or bucking movements while accelerating. 5. Poor fuel economy. The ECU relies on accurate throttle data to determine the correct air-fuel mixture. A malfunctioning TPS can cause the ECU to inject too much fuel or too little fuel into the combustion chamber. Running too rich or too lean leads to inefficient combustion, which wastes fuel and decreases fuel economy. 6. Check engine light. A failing throttle position sensor often triggers the check engine light. The car's ECU may also store a trouble code related to the throttle sensor, such as P0120, P0121, P0123, P0220, P022, P2135, or P2101. 7. Difficulty in shifting gears. In vehicles with automatic transmissions, the transmission control module depends on the throttle sensor to determine throttle position for smooth gear shifts. A faulty TPS can send incorrect data, causing delays in shifting, rough gear changes, or the transmission engaging at the wrong times. 8. Limp mode. If the throttle position sensor completely fails or sends severely incorrect data, the ECU may enter limp mode as a protective measure. In limp mode, the ECU restricts the engine's power to prevent further damage. Now let's discuss the DIY fixes that you can try before heading to a mechanic. First, inspect the wiring. A loose or damaged connection can affect the performance of the throttle sensor. Sometimes it's not the sensor that's the problem. It's a dirty throttle body. Get a throttle body cleaner and carefully spray and wipe away any carbon buildup. Test the TPS with a multimeter to see if it's giving accurate readings. If cleaning and testing didn't work, replacing the throttle position sensor is pretty last option. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more car maintenance tips.